Episode 170, Soul Land Original Novel Do Luo De Lu. Chapter 203 Shadow Hunter TL by Bagelson Right at that moment, Bai Chenxiang brought over a plate of roasted rations, first offering them to Tang San. Tang San took some, then gestured at Ma Hung Jun next to him. Bai Chenxiang was an intelligent young lady, even though she hadn't heard what Fatty said just now, she could still vaguely feel that something was amiss and very casually walked over and sat down next to him, holding the rations in her hands in front of him. The piping hot food made Ma Hung Jun stare blankly a moment, turning his head to look at Bai Chen Xiang. Bai Chen Xiang placed all the food she held in his hands, then stood and walked away to the corner furthest away from the bonfire, sitting there hugging her knees, her chin placed on her knees, staring blankly. The place she sat was away from the Shrek Seven Devils Circle, alone by herself. Ma Hung Jun subconsciously turned to look at Bai Chen Xiang. As he saw her sitting there alone, his just hardened heart softened again, and in a low voice he asked Tang San next to him. Third brother, hasn't she eaten? Tang San shrugged, saying. I don't know, go ask her yourself. I. Fatty hesitated a moment. Looking at Tang San, who was feeding Xiao Wu, he suddenly stood and began walking towards Bai Chen Xiang. Just at this moment, suddenly, Bai Chen Xiang issued a shrill cry, leaping up like an arrow. In her panic she couldn't pay any attention to whether there were any obstacles, and just charged straight into Ma Hung Jun's chest. Careful! Seeing Bai Chen Xiang about to run into him, Fatty also couldn't mind the things in his hands, and hurriedly threw the food aside, using his fat body to meet Bai Chen Xiang. Bai Chen Xiang only felt as if she had run into a soft cushion. Even though she wasn't hurt, in alarm, she had already rebounded. Just at that moment, a pair of strong arms encircled her slender waist and back, again drawing her into a very flexible and soft cushion. What is it? Ma Hung Jun asked, his little eyes flashing with light as he looked in the direction Bai Chen Xiang came from. Chilling murderous intent radiated from him, along with him bracing his fat, but Bai Chen Xiang still felt as if she was surrounded by a barrier in his arms, somehow comfortable, and her panic immediately subsided somewhat. There's, there's a mouse. Bai Chen Xiang said somewhat stammeringly. M.O. Mouse. Ma Hung Jun's eyes widened, his killing intent instantly vanishing like it had never existed. He was somewhat speechless, but he was very quickly attracted to the girl in his embrace. This was a kind of comfort he had never felt before. He had held a lot of women, but never one who had given him such a feeling. Soft and fresh, a maiden's slight fragrance was most attractive to people. Lowering his head to look at the girl who was like a little lamb in his arms, his heart shuddered, and his breathing immediately grew hoarse. The other Shrek Seven Devils had only gotten up at Bai Chen Xiang's cry of alarm, but now they sat back down with considerable tactfulness, basically not looking in their direction. Ah! Bai Chen Xiang cried out, struggling in Fatty's arms. The instant Fatty was roused from the beautiful feeling and subconsciously let go, Bai Chen Xiang knelt on the ground, going to pick up the food that had fallen on the ground. He clearly sensed that Bai Chen Xiang's soft little ears were already red, and was lowering her head, basically not daring to look at him. The unhappiness from earlier in the day was now completely vanished, Fatty laughed foolishly, muttering to himself. So even a mouse could seem so cute to me. Bai Chen Xiang clearly went rigid for a moment, raising her hand to forcefully pinch the flesh on Fatty's waist, slightly lifting her head, fiercely glaring at Fatty. Foisting the food she had picked up on him she turned and ran towards the bonfire. Even if Fatty was even more stupid, right now even he knew what he should do. Hastily grabbing the food and groveling as he ran over, he sat next to Bai Chen Xiang without a trace of politeness. Peeling off the dusty outer layer of the rations to eat himself, he handed the still warm center to Bai Chen Xiang. Even though Bai Chen Xiang didn't say anything, she still didn't refuse, receiving the food and eating it bit by bit. The vicinity of the bonfire once again turned harmonious, and, very harmonious. It was a night without events, and the next morning, at the first glimmer of dawn, everyone set out on the road. The atmosphere was also similar to last night, quite harmonious. Ma Hung Jun still sat in the corner, giving Bai Chen Xiang even more space, but he clearly wasn't in a huff again. Bai Chen Xiang didn't seem any different from before but, if one carefully observed, one could discover that she avoided looking at Fatty as much as she could. Besides occasionally dismounting to stretch or rest the horses, during the next several days everyone was hurrying on the way, stopping to truly rest only a while each night. After ten days, they had already entered the western frontier of the Heaven Do Empire. 
The carriage had also reached a town, where they traded for new horses that could bring them to the seaside. There's a village ahead. Sect Master Tang, won't we rest a while? The Seven Treasure Glazed Tile School disciple coachman had long ago been repeatedly warned that it wasn't Ning Rong Rong who was in charge here, and that he would instead listen to Tang San's instructions for everything. Tang San said. Then we'll rest a while. It was now already afternoon, and with the weather gradually turning cold, the horses were exhausted. Even though they had rested at lunch, they still had to rest once before the evening meal to maintain their speed. The carriage continued forward for a while, then stopped. Just as all the Shrek Seven Devils believed they had arrived and were about to get off, soft knocking came from outside. The Seven Treasure Glazed Tile School coachman said. Sect Master Tang, something seems wrong. We're about to reach a village, but it's too quiet, there's nobody in the fields outside. Everyone looked at each other, and Dai Miubai said. Let's go take a look. Everyone got off the carriage one after another, looking ahead. Roughly half a li one from them was a small mountain village. The village didn't seem large, around a hundred households. Around the village was a wide expanse of fields, and, just as the seven treasure glazed tile school disciple had said, the village was unusually quiet, with nobody in sight within the fields. Tang San's eyes focused, as when relying on purple demon eye, his eyesight was naturally better than the seven treasure glazed tile school disciple, and the 250 meters distance instantly zoomed in. It's not right, the village seems to have been destroyed, a lot of the farmhouses are damaged, seemingly by blunt weapons. There's traces of blood as well. The blood stains still aren't dry, so it should have been recent. That seven treasure glazed tile school disciple looked dumbstruck at Tang San. Inwardly he thought, he can see at this distance? Aren't you acting? But the other Shrek seven devils had no intention of doubting it. Bai Chen Xiang said. Third brother, I'll go take a look. Tang San nodded. Bai Chen Xiang might not match up in battle, but in speed, even the agility attack type Zhu Zuking might not be stronger than her. She could also fly, so safety wasn't an issue. With a flash of white shadow, Bai Chen Xiang had already left. Unfurling a pair of wings in midair, and in a moment she was like a white dot high up. Through the fight between the Seven Devils and Sword Duluo, she had deeply understood the difference between herself and these talents of the young generation. This time the Seven Devils were going out to sea, but she nevertheless displayed her own capability, performing the scouting work she was suited to. It was still the first time Dai Miubai and the others saw Bai Chen Xiang use her spirit, and Zhu Zuking sighed. Such speed. Worthy of being a pure speed clan spirit master. If her spirit power rises a bit higher, we might not even catch her shadow. Tang San smiled. We'll wait here a while. Bai Chen Xiang came flying back before long, her speed in no way inferior to when she left. They could practically still only see a white dot in the sky, and the next moment, she was already landing in front of everyone. As she landed, the Shrek Seven Devils discovered that Bai Chen Xiang's expression was extremely unsightly. White as a sheet of paper. Her chest was constantly heaving, as if holding something back. Ma Hung Jun was just about to step forward and ask, when Bai Chen Xiang leapt towards a tree nearby, and vomited. The Shrek Seven Devils looked at each other, and Oscar couldn't help saying, Fatty, did you do something outrageous to her? A good young lady like Xiang Xiang, you have to take responsibility. Ma Hung Jun rolled his eyes. Your face is outrageous, I didn't even touch her little hand. While speaking, he was already running over, softly patting Bai Chen Xiang's back, softly infusing his own spirit power, easing her somewhat. Dai Mu Bai said in a low voice. There might be trouble, she definitely saw something frightening or nauseating. Bai Chen Xiang had thrown up practically everything in her stomach, gradually slowing, helped back in front of everyone by Fatty. Tang San's eyes flashed, asking. Xiang Xiang, just what did you see? Bai Chen Xiang's eyes revealed intense alarm. Corpses, corpses everywhere. The earth is entirely dyed red with blood just behind the village. At least a hundred corpses. They died miserably, killed by a group of strangely dressed people, who are bringing their corpses into the back of the mountain. A lot of them are dribbling organs, and those strangely dressed people are even carrying children's corpses by skewering them on pikes, I could smell the blood even at high altitude. Too miserable, really too miserable. It seems only some young women are alive. Bleeg. At this point, she couldn't help vomiting again. In all her life, she had never seen such carnage. Hearing her say this, 
everyone's expressions couldn't help falling, and as Dai Miubai and Tang San looked at each other, Tang San said. Wrong wrong, Zuking, you stay here, help me look after Xiaowu for the moment. Little Ao, you protect them. Miubai, Fatty, we're going. While speaking, Tang San raised his left hand, blue light flashing in his eyes, as the triangular vast sea cosmic shroud spun out from from between his eyebrows. Infusing it with a stream of rich spirit power, blue light abruptly blossomed, enveloping everyone apart from Dai Miubai, Ma Hung Jun, and himself. The Shrek Seven Devils had been cooperating for a long time. Ning Rong Rong took Xiao Wu's hand from Tang San, and everyone gathered by the carriage. Oscar said. Be careful. While speaking, he flicked his right hand, reciting spirit incantations in a low voice, handing more than ten large recovery sausages and small detoxifying sausages to Ma Hung Jun. Tang San's trio moved off in the direction of the village. Where they previously were the carriage, and everyone near it, had already disappeared, as the vast sea cosmic shroud's vast sea protective barrier defense and camouflage activated. This thing was practically miraculous within its effective range. As long as Tang San left a trace of spiritual force on it, he could still withdraw it from a hundred li away. Moreover, with the mental connection, he didn't have to worry about losing it either. The three comprehensively launched their speed, very quickly circumventing the village. Immediately, they also smelled that intense blood stink. Even though they still hadn't seen any signs of people, from the blood-red ground they could see what a bitter massacre had occurred here before. There were even organs still left on the ground, distributing a nauseating smell. Tang San and Dai Miubai were still well, but Fatty's expression turned somewhat unsightly. Tang San was after all tempered in Slaughter City, he had seen too many massacres there. And Dai Miubai was Star Luo Empire's crown prince, naturally he wasn't unaccustomed to such bloody things. Even though Fatty had seen dead people, it was still his first time experiencing such a dense blood stench. Dai Miubai's nose twitched slightly, pointing to the left side, saying. They should have gone that way. Like bandits. Let's go. The three set out once again, eyes chill spreading from their eyes. Not far ahead was a winding mountain range. The mountains here weren't high, and moreover were very suited to cultivating plants, mountain forests grew everywhere. Pursuing those targets was too simple, you just needed to follow the blood on the ground and it was basically impossible to lose them. The three entered the mountain forest, and very soon caught up to their targets. In the distance, the three could already see a dense mass of silhouettes. Tang San exercised his purple demon eye to look, seeing that it was actually a dense mass of corpses on the ground. Wails could constantly be heard. Dai Mubai would charge forward, but Tang San stopped him. First observe, then we act. Years of tempering had already let him learn caution. The three followed the mountain forest to the side, gradually clearly seeing those bandits. Rather than calling them bandits, it felt like they weren't like humans. There was approximately 300 bandits, each one had an extremely majestic build, more than 2 meters tall, with solid physique. Most peculiar was that they all had gray hair, with dense hair all over their bodies, seeming like savages. Their lips protruded, exposing canines more than twice the size of normal people, their faces painted with dazzling colors. Seeing the opponents, Dai Miubai's evil eyes gradually sharpened, whispering to Tang San and Ma Hung Jun. It's wolf taken. I didn't expect there to be wolf taken in Heaven Do Empire. Tang San looked doubtfully at Dai Miubai, and Dai Miubai whispered. Wolf taken can be said to be people, yet they're not really people. They're a kind of fusion of humans and the storm devil wolf spirit beast. The four element academies Feng Xiaoshan spirit, the double hated storm wolf, is a powerful variation of the storm devil wolf. Only, the spirit doesn't possess the instincts of the storm devil wolf. The storm devil wolf's nature is exceptionally evil, it can mate with almost any creature with a body similar to it, and it most likes human women. After mating with human women, they will give birth to special people like these wolf taken. You might call them half human, half wolf monsters. Wolf taken naturally possess the storm devil wolf's physique, speed, and some innate abilities. At the same time they also possess some human intelligence. Extremely bloodthirsty. Humans in areas with wolf taken will be extremely miserable. These wolf taken don't just kill, they eat the corpses afterward. The women will be temporarily left alive, if they never get pregnant, they will be eaten as well. This is why they brought those villager corpses. Tang San and Ma Hung Jun drew a cold breath, but their heavy killing intent also immediately grew even stronger. Dai Mubai whispered. 
These wolf taken aren't easy to deal with, 500 can defeat a 10,000 man regular army. Wolf taken are extremely strong, and can control the power of wind to a certain degree, equivalent to low level spirit beasts. Each wolf taken strength is no less than a 20 or 30th rank spirit master. Moreover, they're naturally vicious, if attacked they won't stop until they're dead. Extremely difficult to deal with indeed. Fortunately Little San is cautious, otherwise if we charged up to confront them we would be besieged. Ma Hung Jun couldn't help saying. Then what do we do? Leave it like this. Dai Mu Bai snorted coldly. In our Star Luo Empire, there were once a few tribes of wolf taken running all over the place, with disastrous consequences. Since we've run into them, how can we let it be? Little San, you plan it. No matter what we will end these wolf taken. We can't defeat them in a frontal confrontation, but there will inevitably be a way. Tang San squinted. If Hu Lina who once left Slaughter City together with him was here, she would immediately recognize this as the expression Tang San had before each slaughter. The sound of ripping silk came from Tang San's back, the blood red eight spider lances breaking out, gradually unfolding behind him. Assassination. If we don't kill all of them, we won't leave. Creatures like these shouldn't exist on the continent. Follow me. While speaking, a blue light came from under Tang San's feet, swiftly spreading into the surroundings. This was a mountain forest, and naturally there was bound to be a plant like the blue silver grass with its exuberant vitality. Tang San's spiritual force swiftly spread through the blue silver domain. Dai Mubai and Ma Hung Jun both felt a bizarre scene play out before them, all their surroundings seemed to become clear, as the blue silver domain not only gave them astonishing vitality, but also connected with their spiritual force. Of course, this was different from the mutual connection of Ning Rong Rong's fantasy space, it only let Tang San unilaterally order them. But what Tang San passed on to them was the locations of those wolf taken he had scouted after the blue silver domain amplified his spiritual force. Tang San raised his hand and pointed forward. His body leaned forward, only half a chi or so between his stomach and the ground, completely using eight spider lances to support his body, swiftly advancing. Ma Hung Jun and Dai Mu Bai also accelerated simultaneously, following right behind him. The three sneaked up behind those wolf taken like this. Very quickly, they were already behind the front lines of the wolf taken army they had pursued. Relying on Blue Silver Domain to hide their presence, even though those wolf taken had a powerful sense of smell, they were unable to detect them. Even more so with the screen of the smell of those villager corpses. The closer they were, the better Tang San and the others could see how miserably those villagers had died. While walking through the forest those wolf taken tore up some of the corpses and ate the pieces. When they were only 20 meters away or so, Tang San stopped. The effect of the blue silver domain was amply revealed. Without need to talk, he transmitted to Ma Hung Jun and Dai Mu by spiritual force, targeting the last three wolf taken. Tang San pointed to himself, then pointed to the wolf taken in the center. Dai Mubai and Ma Hung Jun simultaneously nodded, expressing their understanding. Three people quietly leapt up, like three shadow hunters hidden among the trees. Eight spider lances sprang up, Tang San quietly rose like a man-faced demon spider, huddling up in the air, eight spider lances also withdrawing to his side, as far as possible eliminating the sound of cutting through the air. When he arrived behind that wolf taken carrying corpses, eight blood-red lances abruptly extended one bulky blue silver emperor whipping out from his hand, just in time to cover the wolf taken's mouth. With a soft popping sound, the eight spider lances pierced the wolf taken. The wolf taken went rigid, wanting to shout, but the blue silver emperor stuffed into its mouth abruptly grew thicker, one sharp thorn after another piercing it. Let alone screaming, it couldn't even open its mouth. The eight spider lances flashed with bloody light, and the wolf taken immediately shriveled up, gradually growing limp. Tang San held the corpses with his right hand, simultaneously lowering the villager and wolf taken bodies to the ground. Raising a hand to close the eyes of the villager bodies, he inwardly said, Don't worry, I will definitely take revenge on your behalf. At the same time as Tang San acted, Dai Mubai and Ma Hung Jun also moved up on either side. Dai Mubai's actions were the most directly effective, releasing his spirit at the same time as he leapt up, when he, his physique even more powerful than a wolf taken, landed behind his opponent, the result was already settled. One bulky tiger paw covered the back of the wolf taken's head, one covering its mouth. Between the two hands, the wolf taken's solid neck twisted like soft noodles, its entire head twisting 180 degrees, it got turned to face Dai Mubai. The last thing that wolf taken saw, 
was Dai Mu Bai's double pupiled evil eyes radiating dense killing intent. Ma Hung Jun's killing speed wasn't a bit slower than Tang San and Dai Mu Bai. In order to prevent the atmosphere heating up and revealing them, he didn't use his spirit. His fat body nimbly sneaked up behind that wolf taken, his right arm abruptly growing deep red, his sleeve instantly turning to ash. His right hand directly pressed on the top of the wolf taken's head, his flame right arm spirit bone ability erupting inside. Smoke rose from the wolf taken's eyes, nose, mouth, and ears, its body gradually falling limp to the ground, its brain already cooked to ash. The three let go of the corpses practically simultaneously. Glancing at each other, they kept moving. On the way, they left behind one wolf taken corpse after another using the same methods. In short order they had already eliminated more than twenty wolf taken, and without being discovered by the ones in front. Just as they quietly advanced on their eighth group of wolf taken, one of their targets suddenly stopped, turning and pulling open its trousers to urinate, just in time to see Dai Mubai leaping forward. Dai Mubai reacted extremely quickly, his tiger paw suddenly stretching forward, grabbing the wolf taken's throat and crushing it. But his target still issued a muffled grunt in the instant before he reached it. Three corpses collapsed again, but this time, they also alarmed the wolf taken ahead. Immediately, wolf howls echoed through the forest, a hundred or more wolf taken turning and rushing back. Retreat! Tang San shouted deeply. The blue silver grass on the ground suddenly grew frantically, twisting around the ten wolf taken closest to them. His hands seemed to flicker like illusions, ten bright lights flashed, and those wolf taken whose legs had been bound howled in pain, covering their eyes and rolling on the ground. Their right eyes were hit by a three kun two long bone spike, penetrating into the brain. Once they hit the ground they were already dead. The three charged back simultaneously, but blue light also rushed up in front of them, several dozen wind blades sweeping towards them, cutting everything where they stood before into pieces. That was the wolf taken's innate ability. Neither Ma Hung Jun nor Dai Mu Bai specialized in speed, but they had Tang San on their side. Two blue silver emperor twisted around their waists, and along with the eight spider lances burst retreat, Tang San pulled the two of them to swiftly leap back more than a hundred meters. When the wolf taken discovered their companions were killed, each and every one's eyes grew blood red, and they stood on all fours, madly charging over. They were incomparably fast, completely displaying their wolf characteristics. Three Kun long claws ejected from their hands and feet, their sturdy muscles letting them leap through the forest as if flying. These wolf taken were intelligent, they not only chased head on, but large numbers of wolf taken also circled around the sides, preparing to cut off Tang San and the others' escape route. Little San, let's take them on. Dai Mu Bai roared. Confronting a large number of wolf taken, his killing intent was already completely aroused, tigers being chased by wolves was not something he could stand. Tang San simply judged the situation, and their retreat screeched to a halt. A ring of white light suddenly blossomed from below his feet. It was the release of the Death God domain. At the same time, the blue light he released also abruptly grew stronger. In the forest, the blue silver grass seemed to come alive. Centered around Tang San, within a range of a hundred meters, all the blue silver grass began to grow frantically, doing their utmost to twist around those wolf taken, the blue silver domain's evolved binding ability starting within its range. Dai Mubai and Ma Hung Jun were simultaneously thrown out by Tang San, both falling where the wolf taken had gathered the most densely, and he himself instantly shot out, eight spider lances stretching out in the air, straight into a nearby group of wolf taken. Like a tiger entering a wolf pack, Dai Mubai's first and third spirit rings activated simultaneously. Under the effect of White Tiger Barrier and White Tiger Vajra transformation, his body grew to more than two and a half meters, his hair turning completely golden, sharp tiger claws ejecting, starting a head-on raw battle with the wolf taken. One wolf taken straight ahead who had not yet been bound by the blue silver domain binding leapt towards him. Dai Mubai roared, meeting it from the front, raising the tiger claws of both hands high above his head, golden light flashing in a crosswise slash. With a fluttering sound, there was abruptly a cloud of blood mist in the air, as that wolf taken was immediately cut into pieces by the sharp tiger claws. And under the powerful charge attacks of the wolf taken, Dai Mubai didn't retreat half a step. Ma Hung Jun no longer had to hide his spirit, red hot flame erupting. Under the effect of bathing fire phoenix, phoenix fire wire was already turning a wolf taken just ahead into ashes. Phoenix ascension launched and with a turn of his fat body, he relied on the enormous wings of flame to cover the surrounding seven or eight wolf taken in stubbornly adhering golden phoenix flame. Tang San's expression was as undisturbed as a dried-out well, 
cutting into the Wolf Taken group. These Wolf Taken really were powerful, even though their legs were bound, they still didn't forget to attack with wind blades, and simultaneously swung their wolf claws to sever the blue silver grass binding them. With a popping sound, one of Tang San's eight spider lances pierced a wolf taken body, simultaneously turning in midair, a jade colored hand directly grabbing a wolf claw swung at him. Ear piercing bone cracks resounded from the wolf claw, and one eight spider lance also thrust into that wolf taken's ribs. The bloodthirsty eight spider lances grew even more gaudily red. With each wolf taken killed, it would extract the Wolf Taken's vitality and draw it into Tang San's body, making Tang San's killing intent even more flourishing. The eight spider lances revealed their frightening killing power at this moment. Let alone being skewered, even those of the Wolf Taken that's just got barely cut would in short order fall limply to the ground from the poison. The Wolf Taken's wind blade attacks couldn't cause much trouble for the three. After all, their attacks were still a bit lacking. Dai Mubai relied on his body, enhanced by White Tiger Vajra transformation to stiffly resist. Ma Hung Jun used the red-hot flame of bathing fire phoenix and phoenix ascension to dissolve the energy of the attacks. And Tang San relied on his incomparably marvelous ghost shadow perplexing step to slip through the cracks between the wind blades. As Dai Mu Bai massacred the innumerable wolf taken around him, when he occasionally glanced at Tang San, he couldn't help drawing a cold breath. There was unexpectedly more wolf taken fallen near Tang San than him and Ma Hung Jun combined. The current Tang San didn't only have the eight spider lances, both his arms also flashed like the hands of a death god. His movements basically couldn't be seen clearly, but frightening bright lights constantly sprinkled from his hands, all hitting the wolf Taken's eyes, throats, temples, hearts, or the vitals further down. Just in this short time, more than forty wolf Taken had fallen around him. Constantly changing position just like a mirage, in Dai Mubai's eyes, right now he was like a hell azura. Of the more than 300 wolf taken, right now more than a third had already died under their hands. But there still remained more than 200, that by now had completely surrounded the three. The effect of the blue silver domain binding gradually disappeared. Those wolf taken who had struggled free of their bindings basically didn't even pause over the death of their comrades, instead attacking with increasing ferocity. The blood made their already excited eyes turn completely blood red. The reason why Tang San and the others had chosen to fight in close combat really wasn't because they could injure and kill the opponents faster that way, on the contrary, Ma Hung Jun and Dai Mubai's large-scale killing abilities would substantially exhaust their spirit power. Even if hand-to-hand -hand fighting was a bit dangerous, the spirit power consumption was laughable. As for their physical strength, they had undergone Grand Master's Hell training, and with the effects of the immortal treasure herbs they had once taken and the attribute upgrades of spirit rings and spirit bones, under these circumstances, even if they killed every single wolf taken they wouldn't run out of physical strength. Mubai, look out! Tang San's shout resounded in Dai Mubai's ears. Even though he was going all out slaughtering, he still didn't neglect what was going on around him. Blue Silver Domain constantly imparted every single detail of the battlefield into his mind. Only, in this crazed battle, he couldn't manage to share the Blue Silver Domain with his companions. Just on Dai Mubai's side an especially large, Cyan furred wolf taken quietly leapt forward. It didn't make a sound. It seemed even more like a wolf, a faint blue light gushing around it, it was this blue light's control over the air and its presence that kept Dai Mubai from discovering it. At the same time as this cyan wolf taken appeared, behind Tang San and Ma Hung Jun two more quietly appeared and leapt towards each one of them. One one half equals two five zero m. Two three equals ten centimeters. It finishes at here. Subscribes, likes, and comments. Maybe sometime we'll rest one day not uploading, rest well guys.